Why are you so fixated on my messed up life? Because if I don't fixate on your life, I have to fixate on mine, and that is a long, dark tunnel where the screams echo, so it sounds like there's more people than me, but it's just me. <laughs> All right, we'll stay on my life. That was way too close tonight. I have to figure this out, like, right now. Maybe I can help. Take out your phone. <clears throat> Look at the text you wrote when you realized you were stranded. Read the one that you sent to Ben. Okay. Um, hey, I just got a flat tire. I'm on the access road by the 70 mile marker on the I-90. I've had such a crappy day. Harris is making me crazy. I need to spend more time with Mark. I'm just so tired. I wish we were together right now and I could put my head on your chest and fall asleep. Okay, uh, read what you wrote, David. Flat tire, access road, mile marker 70, need ride to gas station. <laughs> They're roughly the same. What's your point? Stop kidding yourself. You know what you have to do. I know. I hate this. I've been so scared to stop trying with David, but I have to. Yes, Team Ben! <laughs> But I don't want to hurt David. I mean, I just don't know how am I going to break up with him. How about you do it in therapy? And that way he has someone there to help him make sense of it. That is a great idea. They can pick up the pieces while I slip out the back. Hey. hey. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Oh, sure. Mm. Oh. Never been to a therapist before. You don't lock that door, do you? <laughs> I told you she's always had a great sense of humor. I, I, I know this is new and, and kind of scary to you, but like you taught me, humor can get you through difficult moments. Hold on to that thought. <laughs> Just to elaborate on what David said, some strong feelings could come up today, but this is a safe place to let them out. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, sometimes strong emotions are necessary to move forward. <laughs> David has made an incredible amount of progress in a short amount of time. And he has a lot he wants to say to you. Oh, um, okay. Um, I just... If it's okay with you, I'd like to go first. Well, I, I want to hear everything you have to say. But first, I'm breaking up with you. What? <laughs> I know this is difficult for you because it's not what you expected to happen here. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> Darling, by controlling the relationship, you've, you've always kept me at arm's length. I, I, I think I've known that for a long time, but until I came here, I, I was too weak to ask for what I needed. No, oh, I, I, I needed partnership. Oh, I needed true intimacy. I needed to be heard. I heard you. I don't think you've heard me since I was 15. Um, okay. I'm sorry I couldn't make it work. I'm still going to be a great father, and I will always love you, but I'm ready to move on. Okay. We've broken up so many times before. How come this feels different? Because this is the last time. And there's a stranger watching us. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I kind of wish I got to talk first, but... <laughs> you no, know, it wouldn't have made any difference. We still would have ended up here. Yeah, I, I can't argue with you there. Uh, uh, you know, there's still time left in the session. I think it'd be really good for you to sit here with Gabby and let her help you make sense of it all. <laughs> do you want to tell me what you're feeling? Do so you want to do something tonight? Uh, we're spending the day together, that's enough. 
How about this weekend? I, I don't know. I'll let you know tomorrow. Darlene, we have to talk. Ever since we started going out, it's like you have all the power in this relationship and I have nothing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Stuff. Oh, I remember this. The kids loved it. It's how they learned their animal noises. What does the cow say? I know what the zombie cow says. And let's see what the birdie says. I'll be right back. Keep an eye on little Bev. Hold on. Where are you going? Oh, you mean this? I realized I don't need the bartender job to make more money. I'm recycling these beer cans. Where'd you get so many? From the garage. There are a couple cases in the fridge. You blown up my beer! <laughs> hey, if I can't be trusted around alcohol at work, I certainly can't be trusted around it at home. I mean, that's what you were worried about, right? Can you give us a minute? <laughs> yeah, I gotta go to work anyway. And we can get you more beer. Mm. You're gonna be okay. Mm. <laughs> so, was pouring out all my beer supposed to make me change my mind? I'm just showing you that alcohol is everywhere. If I want to drink, I can drink. And nothing makes you want to drink more than dealing with kids. Like right now, but unfortunately, I got no beer. <laughs> I'm a grown woman, Dad. You have no right to interfere in my life. Everybody wants me out of their life until they have to move back into my house, which I thank God I have to give you. But this family, we're not blessed with the best of luck, and I'm running out of nuts to save you. Dad, it's okay that you're not going to be able to save us every time. I know that you're anxious that I'm going to drink. And guess what? So am I. That's not making me feel better. <laughs> Let me finish. I'm working hard to stay sober, but I have to live with the uncertainty. And because you love me, you have to live with it, too. See, if I'm worried about it, then I have to try to fix it. It's the one thing I know how to do. Well, you know what? Get retrained for another job. Maybe you could be a bartender. <laughs> Although, with the way you drink, I don't think it's a good idea. Hey. Hey. So I need to talk to you. Sometimes you do something stupid and it seems like the right thing when you're doing it. And some things are just stupid and they stay stupid all the way through. Uh huh. I've been seeing David for the last month, and I feel horrible. But it's over, and I'm so sorry. And it took me a minute to come to my senses, but Ben, I know what we have, and I love you. Let me just finish this. And that's why I'm breaking up with you. Wait, what? Known about David since the flat tire. How? When David was there and I showed up, you had the same expression as this guy. Caught with 10 pounds of cocaine in his ass. <laughs> you lied to me. I asked you and the kids to move in with me. And you said you couldn't because of what your father had been through. Now I find out it's because of David. Please, there's got to be something I can do to make this right. I'm sorry. I'm done. Wait, so are you firing me? Look, you can relax, all right? Unfortunately, I need you, which is a real miscalculation on my part. <laughs> so we are going to work together, awkwardly, for eight hours a day, five days a week, because we're professionals. <laughs> <laughs> 